Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, if you follow me at all, or follow the vlogs, whatever, you know that Josh and myself have been hosting an open mic over in Salem for the last six years. Um, we just gave it up last week at the end of October. Um, for no reason other than it's just time to, for us to move on to another project. And uh, Thursday's a big music night at places, so it's, I would like to start booking myself and getting some more shows on Thursdays. And um, that's it, it was just time to move on. Uh, we had a great time running it. I'm very thankful for the experience and all the people that came down to support us. Um, I made a ton of friends. We made friends down there that we're going to be friends with forever. Uh, I've met people down there that play with me. I met Mike, my drummer down there. He's been in my band for six years. I met Jason down there. We're, we're great friends now. We play music all the time and hang out. Um, just a lot of good things happen down there. A lot of a lot of people I I forced to come down like because I knew they wanted to play, and uh, I forced them to come down and play my open mic. And now, now they're off with their own bands doing stuff. So we had a great time running open mic. I'm glad we did it. Um, it was a good experience. But now that I'm not running at it anymore, I thought I would talk about some things that people do that you shouldn't do at an open mic or just. I don't know, things you shouldn't do at an open mic or to annoy the hosts. Uh, these aren't directed at anybody, they're not meant to offend people, it's just things I've observed from hosting an open mic for so long and also attending open mics, because uh, it happens all over the place. Uh, the first thing is not bringing an instrument. This is probably one, this is one of my biggest like annoyances, like I understand that you're out with your friends at the bar, there's open mic, you want to play a song, that's cool. You come up to me and ask me, we don't have, we never had a house guitar per se, but I always had my guitar and I always let people use it. And um, because I would want someone to let me use their guitar if I wanted to do, if, you know, if I showed up without one and wanted to play, that's fine. I don't mind sharing, that's cool. It's the people that repeatedly would show up without an instrument. After I have explained that this isn't really a house guitar, you should bring your guitar that you keep saying you forget. Anyway, bring an instrument to open mic night. Um, so that's one. Two, another big one is don't apologize before you get before you even start to play. I've I've witnessed so many people get up and apologize that they're that they're not that good. I didn't practice. Um, I don't know. Don't apologize because now people are expecting you to not be good, and that's not good. Everybody, should, you know, everybody should show up to open mic and have a good time. And, uh, when you set yourself up like that, um, I understand people are nervous, we're all musicians, you know? Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, I, I play like, I play like three or four nights a week with all sorts of bands. I mess up all the time. We all mess up, it happens, nobody's perfect. You just keep going. And nine times out of ten, the audience doesn't even notice. Uh, unless you're Jessica, who always knows when I screw up everything and makes a point to stare at me, so I know. Um, we all mess up, so don't worry about it. So don't apologize before you get going. And then if you mess up in the middle of the song, just keep going. Don't stop. That's the other thing. People will just stop. They'll be like, oh, I don't know, I screwed up. And then just start another song. Just <laughs> Don't do that, just keep going. It's fine, man, you're cool. Everyone's on your side, just keep going. The other one is um, setting up stuff for open mic. So when we were doing it, we offered people 15 minutes, 15 minute slots, which is huge for open mic. I've been to other places where it's like, you get like 10 minutes or you get five minutes, or two songs, five minutes, whatever, whatever, that's not the point. The point is when people bring in like their entire band, which is fine, we loved having whole bands come in, but your time starts when you get up there. Your time doesn't start, unless you make special arrangements with us, which was also fine, it would happen. Unless you make special arrangements, don't get up there and take 10 minutes to set up your stuff, because now you only have five minutes left. It's, o it's open mic, you don't have to bring, uh, a box truck of gear is all I'm saying. 
that brings me to the people who would nitpick the sound system. Now my PA is a professional sound system, and like I know how to run it. I can do whatever you want through my PA, and I always accommodated everybody and let them do whatever they you know whatever they wanted through the PA. Um, it's all the nitpicky people that would come and ask for, well, I want vocals out of the left channel, and then I want the effects out of this channel, and then they would give me all these cables from all their equipment, and just want it. It's too much for an open mic. It's too much. On the fly. People would come in and sign up and then ask me, be like, hey, I got this and this and this and all this stuff to plug in. We would go, okay, that's fine. So we, we would set it up beforehand and get everything ready so they just have to get up there and move. But don't nitpick the sound system. We're letting you use our stuff. And, uh... Which brings me now to sitting in with people. Not everybody wants you to sit in and play with them. It's the nature of the beast at open mic. Open mic sometimes comes into a, a it turns into a, a live jam all night. I mean, that happens, it, it just happens. But not everybody wants you to sit in with them. I've had um, a couple occasions and I've witnessed some from other open mics when people bring in auxiliary percussion stuff and just just expect that they're gonna, they're gonna play with the performer. Uh, again, if you ask, it would probably be okay, but when they just get up there, like in the middle of your song, and start playing whatever they, you know, it messes up the performer, it gets frustrating, and then it gets awkward, because you can tell that the performer's pissed, and then don't always assume you can uh, sit in with people. That's my other thing. Um, and lastly, uh, I think it's, don't be disrespectful. There have been several instances of our open mic where people have just been disrespectful or mean because you know when people are playing I, I walk around and just make sure that the sounds okay and stuff don't be disrespectful to the performers they're getting up and they're they're like putting it on the line and trying to they may not be very good but it's open mic and that's how you get good I started at open mic nights when I first started playing I did open mic nights and then I booked shows through open mic nights so people are either out to have fun or out trying to network themselves. If you don't like it, just keep it to yourself. Just don't be mean. There was one time that someone was playing some group of dude guys as they were leaving walked right up and unplugged the guitar on somebody. That's horrible. That's mean. Don't, don't be mean to people. Just always be respectful and enjoy, you know, we're all there to have a good time. We're all there to make music. And, um, I don't know. That's my thoughts on open mic night. Open mic is a great thing. It's a great place to, to practice, get get some experience under your belt. It's a great place to meet people. Um, if you have an open mic around you or the means to go to an open mic, go to an open mic and just play. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, that's it. This is a long vlog of me rambling, but those are just my thoughts on open mic. Um, again, I'm glad we did it for as long as we did. I do, I am going to miss it a little bit, I think, um, but I'll probably do it once a month over there. <laughs> Can't stay away. Um, I don't know. That's it, guys. Uh, see you later.